wherever and whenever you are, and welcome back. Ah, and it is so good to be back as we are kicking off our campaigns after a brief hiatus um, for the last couple of weeks. And we are jumping back into all of our regular campaigns starting today with ta -da, Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Hello, my friends. It is wonderful to have you back. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, everyone over there in chat, everyone down there, all you lovely players as well, thank you. It is um, absolutely fantastic to be back and have all of the uh, campaigns kicking off again. So a massive thank you, 80s rule. It's nice to be back. And um, yes, a big, big thank you to uh, everyone for hanging out and all of the well wishes and things that were sent uh, during the, uh, the break there. And of course, a massive, massive thank you to everyone that was involved on camera, off camera, in chat and beyond during the Odyssey. Last weekend's charity weekend for Jasper's game day, a fantastic, just resounding success. Um, special shout out, of course, to our friends Charlie and all of the DM Charlie um, group and friends and, and all of that um, community over there for their incredible contribution. And yesterday, we finished with our second one-shot roulette game and just absolutely <laughs> mind-blowing stuff. Um, and uh, yes, we, fi we finished up with a grand total of $2,645 heading to a very good cause. It's going to make so much difference. And uh, thank you all. Thank you so, so much. And uh, you know, shout out, of course, to all of our wonderful guests as well we <laughs> try, it was such a such a haze especially doing two one-shot roulettes and juggling all of those balls <laughs> up in the air at the same time but um yes um all of our wonderful guests as well um the fantastic jeremy cobb from three black halflings lauren urban from uh, idol champions and other such things little red dot from cobalt press an absolute pleasure to uh, meet her and a big fan of cobalt press and all of their stuff um, of course, our good friends um, Kyle from Play Nerd Allies, Patch from Quest Junkies UK, Josh from Dreaded GM. Not you. Not you. You you were almost there, but not quite. I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then um, onto the um, of course all of our Candlekeep Mysteries crew, which is good to see them again. And then into the um, second roulette game with Satine Phoenix. Jason Charles Miller, which I chatting before stream was the first time I'd realized he did all the Final Fantasy XIV music. I didn't realize that was him. <laughs> Some um, our um, people, regular viewers of the channel, um, remember Michael, who was uh, used to be on the channel. Um, he lost his shit <laughs> when he found out about that. It's, uh, all of that uh, Final Fantasy XIV music is some of his favorite and one of his favorite games ever. It's just uh, yeah, that was really cool to hang out there and. Um, of course, uh, yeah, Satine and Jameson as well. Um, rapidly approaching Gary Con and their confirmation ceremony of their of their marriage as going to be um, hosted by Luke Gygax. <laughs> um, they took they took the time in the pr preparations for that and the run up to that and all of the incredible things that uh, Satine does with her um, with her uh, organization of luxury D and D adventures for everybody. Um, and um, then, of course, we had Dead Aussie Gamer, the wonderful Michelle from Phoenix Dice, and Becca, a.k.a. Caustic Phoenix, a fantastic group, and wonderful to get to play with them all and to do um, so much good for such a good cause. But it is nice. Uh, yeah, I'm the same Robot Jacks. It's a, as a, not, not my style of gaming, but it was the music's good. I recommend checking it out on YouTube. <laughs> um, anyway. Let us jump into things here. A massive thank you to everyone for joining us. It's wonderful to have you here as we get back into things. Great to see so many people in chat already. Thank you so much. Um, Hans, my friend, thank you for the subscription. Four months already. I can't believe it's already been four months. It's flown by. I'm uh, lucky. Lucky that I forget who found who. <laughs> um, but thank you. Ah, oh, speaking of, Thamio DM. <laughs> no problem, my friend. Thank you so much for that subscription. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome. In. It's good to see you as always. However briefly. 
Um, okay, so... <laughs> Blue Drop Seth. Here's a look, thank you. Uh, just watched the first episode of Critical Role, so I thought, why not stop Skyrim for a second and get into D&D? &D? Wise choice. Wise choice. Skyrim will always, always be there waiting for you. <laughs> I hope you uh, enjoy. <laughs> right. In D oh, don't worry. Yep, yeah, Charlie, thank you. I saw that. I, I have two. Uh, Robojax gave me one as well. Um, I've got some uh, advantages over here, folks. And I'm going to keep it up there, and then when I use it, I get to keep it. Ha 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 ha. It's, it's only fair. You've all got them already. <laughs> so I get, I, get, I, get one there. I get a couple there as well. It's a, to, to offset all of those disadvantages. Yes, Charlie, Charlie with his huge, huge donation gave me, was it 12 disadvantages in one go? <laughs> but I flipped the tables. I flipped the tables. I, I created an event in the one shot where you had to, you had to miss by the narrowest margin. <laughs> so rolling with disadvantage is actually good. <laughs> Anyway, it was a good time, it was a good time. Um, do check out the VODs, they're on Twitch at the moment, and they will be on YouTube in the near future. Stormfell, hello. Right, okay, so, everybody, let us get into this. Without further ado, a massive thank you, as I said, to all of you watching, and those in the VOD squad later on. Thanks to, um, for joining us whenever and wherever you can. And also, down between Chase and myself, yeah, you can see the majestic emblem of CZRPG. That is because we have a giveaway. Okay, we are going to be giving away some of the fantastic encounters from CZRPG. And I am going to get that started right now so that all of you lovely people can jump in there. And then those of you that are putting up with my babbling just to get into the giveaway can wend your merry way. <laughs> and let's get this going. Has that jumped in there? Yes, okay, it's open. Oh, Robojack's hands... Jumping right in there. Not raffle, Charlie. Giveaway. <laughs> okay. Um, and Charlie, I get another thank you for all of your uh, um, modding work on the uh, on the uh, stream over the weekend. Thank you so much. Uh, hectic hectic chats to deal with, but you did an admirable job, so thank you. Right. Okay. So, yes. Massive thank you to Christian and everyone at CZRPG. Do please check them out. Fantastic, fantastic work. And they have a Patreon up at the moment as well if you want to get lots of very cool design and beautiful maps and things to throw into your games and uh, over there please do check them out and let us also say a massive thank you to our other um, people that have helped us out here first and foremost the rhyme of the first maiden art coming at you from the lovely Emma our friend Emma over at Emma City Art on Twitter um, did our wonderful character portraits, please head on over there and when they have their commissions open, jump in there and you can get some wonderful art for yourself as well. And the beautiful intro you will see in just a moment is from our friend Patch at Quest Junkies UK, who played with us in the charity stream. Now, as we roll on into this, let us also say a big thank you to Sirenscape and all of the other sources of music that we like to use on our games here. Sirenscape.com will get you a free 30 day trial and you can try out all of the great things that they have Lots of official D&D stuff, Pathfinder, other sci-fi, fantasy, board game stuff. Very, very fantastic stuff for your games. And the links to all of the YouTube channels that we use with their uh, um, music that's free to use in streams and things is in every VOD over on the YouTube channel, which is over here. Boom. There's a little bit of Twitter and Instagram in there as well. Right, okay, so that all said and done... Let us get into tonight's game. Let us roll the intro, and then we can meet, come back and meet these lovely people and find out just what is going on as we jump back into Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. See you soon.
right. Okay, so let us jump back into things here. Last time we were up here in Icewind Dale, our adventurers found themselves in the delightful little village of Lonelywood. They had um, just escaped from the black cabin where they had got themselves a rather nifty little gadget which can control the weather so they can keep Oral's winter at bay, at least for a brief time, and in a small area. But she was not happy with that and sent minions to attack them, but they defeated them narrowly and were able to escape with the aid of Mame's shield guardian that arrived after its long journey from the Spine of the World Mountains and the Goblin Fortress where it had been languishing in, uh, in uh, <laughs> decrepitude. But um, after they defeated that and left the Black Cabin, they travelled down south to the lakeside, the unfrozen um, lakeside town of Lonelywood, where they met the very dodgy, shady-looking locals who were rather scary and threatening, but completely doting on Suyala. And they also met the equally slightly shady and worrying um, a pair of um, parents that Suyala had there as well. And um, they were catching up and uh, reminiscing and um, asking what kind of trouble Suyala had been getting into and then being threatened about what kind of trouble they'd been getting Suyala into. And they heard some rumours going on, which are some problems that are facing the town at the moment. The um, loggers and the t timber from Lonelywood here being the only other place with forests nearby, apart from their home base of Goodmead. Um, the logging industry being very important to Ten Towns as a whole um, is very worrying as the loggers are being attacked by a vicious white moose out in the forest. And uh, it seemed to be focused um, in some ways around the stone circle that Soyala and the others are interested in. Um, Soyala, because of a mention of this circle by the uh, little wizened old man with his yellow canaries that uh, visits her and uh, chats on behalf of uh, her, her uh, holy patron from time to time. And the others, because they had been to similar stone circles um, before, and it was there that they were charged with finishing Oral and releasing Isu and Dale from her wintry grip. Now, after catching up with what's going on in town, they met a couple of Suala's friends and reenacted an old tradition of theirs, which was to race across the rooftops of the village, dashing through by whatever means they could to Soyala's home, the other side of town, and as they had a mixed fortunes as they raced through the town and arrived um, across the other side. Soyala her, um, herself was the winner, which is very, you know, only, only just, and, uh, you know, only proper. And they all gathered in the garden, um, snow covered and hoar frosted as it is, but they all gathered in the garden um, at Soyala's house in front of the grave of Soyala's sister and her friends friend, as it was through her sister that she became friends with these two. And they had a touching moment there as uh, Suyala um, paid a visit to her sister's grave. And then we left Lonelywood as Suyala met up with her parents and went home for the evening. And the others were given space in the delightfully warm, heated attic of the speaker of the uh, town here of Lonelywood, the halfling Nimsy Huddle, the only non-threatening <laughs> person in the village that they've met so far. So, without further ado, let us return and just figure out here what is going on with these adventurers of ours. So, starting with Shadow, who are you? Who are you playing? And where are they at right now? as the morning sounds of people starting to move about starts to seep through the walls, although it's still pitch black outside, of course. <laughs> ah, yes, the frozen north. Uh, I'm ready to get up and save this town from its moosey fate as Shadow, Vengeance Paladin of Justice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, Still, uh, I, just, I, just, I just, I, I, I should have, I should have named this episode something else. The Moosey Fate, the Moosey Fate <laughs> of Lonelywood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yes, our vengeance paladin awakens. Okay, and within the same heated attic, 
Tom. Um, yes, uh, hello, uh, I'm, I'm Tom, um, trash to some, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite excited to, uh, take care of this moose and find out more about this, uh, this stone circle, and I'm as, as, as happy as I am to be in Soyeld's hometown, um, they don't seem to be persuaded by beer as much as I had hoped, so... We can go whenever, like, whenever you're ready, I'll be in the car. <laughs> you just need a tea on there. You'll be good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And slowly rising from a pile of feathers and winged cats. Mame. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Sabrina. I play Mame, the Gloomstalker Ranger Gallus. And at the moment, um, being very sleepy and waking up, realizing what happened yesterday in the events, and also my golem. I don't want to see it for a while after it knocking me off a cliff. It was and for your sake. <sighs> it was for my sake, and I did survive. <laughs> and glad that Zoya is back home. Really sad about her sister. Scared of her parents. And yeah. Yes. The parents who uh, who asked you if um, you had heard of any any word of the uh, Tabaxi Tavern Keep on the edge of uh, on the edge of Humblewood, uh, being humble folk, um, and uh, yes, they would ask asked after the uh, the um, Tavern Keep uh, two two spell seven spell seven spell um, down in uh, Riverbend on the edge there, but uh, that's that's more of a Candlekeep Mysteries problem. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you. And, last but not least, welcome home as you wake up in your own room. Thank you for the follow. As you wake up in your own room, in your own house, the familiar smells of your parents cooking. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, Soyala, uh, I'm Sarah, and I play Soyala, and the life cleric Tabaxi, and, um, yeah, I'm just, she's really... Happy to be back. Um, happy to see her family and her friends. And uh, yeah, she's just enjoying uh, probably getting a nice stretch um, in the morning. But yeah. Indeed. Okay. Find it, the the nice sunlight spot that just hits her bed just right in the morning. Oh, you have to wait. Well, till lunch. You have to wait till lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to wait till lunch. But normally, that's that's what it would. <laughs> Yes, yes. And then you remember it's not, and you're like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's not, not going to be there, I'm afraid. But, yes, um, you, um, yes, uh, arise, and um, after having a nice a nice breakfast and catch up with your parents, head up towards the speaker's house where you know the others will be surely awake, as the uh, speaker's children would have uh, been diving all over them <laughs> in the, in the uh, uh, wee small hours. Thank you for that follow, Blue Doctor. Well, welcome in, welcome in. Um, by the way, if you do give us a follow, um, please do um, check your whispers later on as we'll give you an invite over to our followers' Discord. Um, and Charlie, yes, congratulations. You can, with our dice roller, roll a 17.375 sided dice. <laughs> it comes up with a strange number. I wonder how that's calculated, I'm not sure. But anyway. <laughs> it is any, any number, any number can work in there. <laughs> so, let us get back to Lonelywood. Where are you? Over there. Let's get get Oral out of here. Looming. This is this is the, the figure that was looming out of your dreams as you slowly came to wake for something. Ah, no, that's okay. Ah, it was just a dream. It was just a dream. And... Lonelywood. There we go. Might have to bear with the map for a moment, folks. As it's uh, slowly loading in here. There is Speaker's house. You can't make it out yet, but it's there. I can promise. There's a big arrow. It must be there. Right. Okay. So, my friends, let us head over to the Speaker's house. Open the door. And, Siala, as you come in, knocking knocking the snow off your, off your boots and into the warmth of the speaker's, um, you know, welcoming um, entrance area and kind of 
open it's sort of an open plan um floor here this this whole building was clearly designed for um humans but most of the furniture and everything is half link sized you can see um let's say uh shadow is there with his knees up by you know like um Shadov, I don't know if you ever did a kindergarten visit here in Japan, but when they give you one of the <laughs> kindergarten chairs to sit on, <laughs> it's like knees are, you know, knees are up by your ears. <laughs> Just uh, kind of there perching, um, having, a, having a cup of coffee or whatever it, or whatever you fancy in the morning there. And um, is Soyala a Khajiit? I'm not sure what a Khajiit is. She's a Tabaxi. I'm curious, what's a Khajiit? <laughs> uh, from Skyrim. Ah, thank you, thank you. See, I haven't played it. I need to. <laughs> yes, um, are, they, are they similar to Tabaxi? Uh, they're a bit different from what Soyala would be, but yeah. Okay. But similar cat folk, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> nice. I do need to play that game sometimes. Although I think it will, it will consume me for quite some time when I do start playing it. <laughs> right, okay. So, Soyala. You see the three of them, and um, I think... Mame, I'm afraid you, you've lost Slobberchops to the children. <laughs> the halfling children. The halfling children are just like it's a flying cat. Slobber chops. Mom, it's, a, it's a flying cat. Slobber chops <laughs> go up the ceiling. They can't reach you from there. <laughs> and uh, the speaker. The speaker looks with a wry smile. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> and uh, they. You see the kids kind of like parkouring off like bookshelves and like a ch chandelier of candle stubs. <laughs> And uh, yes, um, Slobber Chops is doing his doing his best to get out, to keep out of the way, but uh, having a bit of a rough time with it. Anyway, <laughs> yes, Tom, what are you doing? And Tom is just, you know, tinkering, mm -hmm. as he's wont to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Siola, you arrive here. You see Shadow and everyone. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you all slept well. Um, I don't really sleep, but as as, as well oh. as I can. It was nice and warm. Slobber chops. Wait, go that way, that way. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Once they got their eyes on something, well, don't know, uh, they'll let down easily. <laughs> Unless you redistract them, then maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, Shadov, I've done you an injustice. Um, most of the furniture is sized for halflings, but there are a few big chairs for visitors of taller stock. That bitch. <laughs> I took the chair, Shadov. It is I oh. in the big chair. I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> just imagine Shadov in the small chair and like small me in like the big chair with my legs just like even touching the ground. Yep, just kick sticking it, out. Kick it, yep. Up kicking, like like <laughs> Absolutely. I get cramps during this moose fight. <laughs> and um, actually, um, the um, speaker speaker huddle like pipes up when you when you say that. It's like, oh, y y you you heard? Indeed, we are <sighs> equipped to handle such dangers. Oh, thank the gods! Yes, our loggers are being terrorized by this white moose. <sighs> the beast has eluded the hunters that we've sent to kill it. We depend on the forest for our survival. And I, I wouldn't be a very good town speaker if I let a silly moose get the better of us. Um, what say uh, I give you this beautiful, fresh batch of halfling cookies for, uh, for your aid? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe afterwards. I can't be killing mooses on a full stomach. But they're fresh. You have to take one. I'm going to take one. Still warm. <laughs> Maybe just one. And, just, um, just the one. Tom, I don't... congratulations. I, I hear we're, we're to be colleagues. Oh, yes. Um, I hope so. Oh, um, well, I hope you get a taste for these. I, I take them to every meeting. <laughs> I don't eat, unfortunately. The face just drops. <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm as start broken battle, up about start it. Start the battle music. Start the battle music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as broken up about it as you are. <laughs> They look fantastic. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're missing the smell, which is the best bit, but hey. And, um, somewhat of a, a, a brewer? Oh, yes, I make a lot of beer. Um, it's it's kind of my thing. Um, 
I'm too much fear for one location. I um, am always willing to sell beer. Well, if you are able to um, deal with this moose problem for us, um, allow me to uh, sweeten the deal. <laughs> As if the cookies aren't sweet enough. Um, the um, the only tavern that we used to have here. Uh, uh, well, the, it was an inn actually, and that's, that's why I put travelers up in the in the uh, in the attic because uh, the inn is closed down. Um, is closed down. So, I mean, you're welcome to make use of the premises. It's all set up. It's being used for lumber storage at the moment. But uh, if you want to uh, give it a uh, lick of paint and uh, fill the barrels again, and then uh, maybe, yeah, uh, well, yeah, maybe this little town can have two watering holes again. <laughs> Oh, I, I had never considered franchising. Hmm, that might be a good idea. I was well, good. You drive a hard bargain. I was going to take care of the moose regardless, but now that the inn is on the table. From what I've heard from south of the mountains, the where they spy of the world mountains, those little, little dwarves with their beery beard and hammer franchise is spreading north all the way they're up the Sword Coast, there's just more and more of them all over the place. I'd, I'd be happy to have a, a more uh, local uh, business involved. Uh, I, I, I can't say no to that. So that was a uh, that's a tavern franchise that's been born in the uh, Candlekeep Mysteries <laughs> campaign. Well, they're about to have some fierce competition. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, well they haven't they haven't crested the mountains yet, so. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna have the chance. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go on an aggressive acquisition campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do I need do I need to read the acquisitions ink book? <laughs> all the all the business D and D that they have in there. Right. Okay. Um. Well, let's get some breakfast in you and um. Off into the woods right away? I, I suppose that would be prudent. Oh, <laughs> no time like the present, eh? <laughs> Watch out, you lot! And you see, um, the, uh, the children, Mummy, um, luckily have, uh, qu have, almost as quickly as they became fascinated, have uh, lost interest in slobber chops. <laughs> and they're now dashing around the room after the uh, initial uh, bout of parkour. And uh, they're chasing each other with wooden swords as they climb up the ladder into the loft where you were sleeping before. You can oh. just just hear <laughs> clunks and shrieks of oh, delight. <laughs> and I'm like, I just grab slobber chops and put them around my neck and pet him. <laughs> it's just okay. Like, snuggles in. <laughs> just like breathing slightly heavily. He's not not the youngest of cats. <laughs> this this version of him is much much more spry and. <laughs> Yes, it is, a, and it is. A, ooh. Hang on, it is an evil kind of tiefling-looking skull <laughs> that it has there. <laughs> not, not, not a halfling child, I promise. <laughs> it has horns. It has horns. Okay, right. So you enjoy a nice breakfast, just because we can. Let's figure. It, let's see what it is. <laughs> Guess I'm getting second breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> When in, when in a halfling house. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go with... I wonder if we'll stick it around in time for 11 <laughs> Um Let's go with like a country inn. Here we go. Yes. Ooh, nice. Okay, so yeah. Um, you um, are treated to boiled eggs with thick cut bacon and sweet peppers. In the mix here. Yeah. I like this town. <laughs> and uh, washed down with stout. Is it or, Christmas? Or, or mead, if you prefer. <laughs> so, yeah, there oh. you go. <laughs> so, yeah, you didn't tell me you were from paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it does feel like it. <laughs> okay. Suitably fueled and uh, wrapping yourselves up against the cold, 
Are you uh, heading on out? Yeah, sound like the present. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, uh, do we have uh, any kind of whereabouts that we could look? They have mentioned that it's in the general vicinity of the Stone Circle. Okay. That that's there have awesome. there have been Got attacks it. nearby there, but but then there've okay. been there have been other outlying attacks in some other random locations. So nothing too. Yeah, something with the loggers. Yes. Yeah. So, as well. Okay. Yeah, it was loggers that were attacked. Yeah. And wolves. <laughs> okay. Now the problem is, you know, the problem is that the uh, the forest comes right, <laughs> you know, right into the village, as you can see, and uh, wraps wraps around all the houses and things there. So. Um, it is uh, definitely, definitely a, a problem that is on their minds. Um, so, are you going to uh, just head in to that uh, little kind of cul-de-sac there and into the woods from there? Um, yeah, I guess kind of whatever way was towards the the do not enter part of the forest. <laughs> um, the yes, you you remember it well because <laughs> you you know, you you, uh, you got a bit of. It a may cough. have been a dare. Yeah, a bit of a, a, a poor a poor cuff to the ear um, a couple of times as, as you uh, were caught trying to sneak into that part of the woods <laughs> by uh, some of the locals um, who uh, assured you that it was better that they found you than, than not your dad. <laughs> and um, then, uh, yes, you uh, you start heading off in that direction. Um, Mame is our as yet unnamed shield guardian out of the doghouse yet. Is it? How long has it been? I think it should have, like... Did I call it? Was I too mad? <laughs> Maybe a little, I was just still a little bit mad, but now I'll call it over. So how That's long would it, it take if I call it now? I, th I think it, ca it came to the town with you, right? Yeah, like it came mm -hmm. up to like the entrance if I left it outside. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it, it's um, just yeah. After a, a, a time, you hear you hear a couple of uh, startled cries of uh, villagers as it uh, enters into the uh, outskirts, but uh, then doesn't seem to be doing anything. You hear a couple of clangs, maybe like some some of those uh, larger, larger, more uh, angry-looking folks who tried to uh, defeat this invader, but just kind of ignored them and just carried on walking, and then um, catches up with you. Um, I think. <laughs> One of the one of the uh, eye patched villagers with a with a hook for a hand has got his hook caught into the back. One of the armor plates on the back is being dragged along behind it. It's like, oh oh oh, oh it's yours, is it? Uh, um, give give us, a, yes. give us give us some help here, would you? Uh, uh, please stop. And I just like hold the amulet and hold my hand up. And the shield guardian stops. And like, can you please like maybe go down a bit so he can unhook himself? <laughs> Have you got some tools for the job here? <laughs> to help unhook this poor man. <laughs> um. Sure, I suppose. Let's take a look at this. Uh, just takes just a little bit of work there, and yes, you managed to spring oh, can, him free. <laughs> can 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 you have it like kneel down, like the the, the joint is kind of clamping the, the hook together? Oh, he is he is down. Can you have him kneel yeah. down further. Okay, so come down a bit further. Oh yeah, here. Uh, all right, just a second. Go <laughs> down, fifth floor. <laughs> cling, cling. Done. Okay, and yes, with a little bit of work, you are able to free, free this large, large uh, fisher, and he goes off about his day, muttering under his breath about strange walking armor. Okay, and off into the forest. Now, <laughs> Ranger, we have need of you. As you are going to start trying to track this beast. So, let's have a look here. Is it survival? It is a survival check, yes. And yes. You can make it with advantage because I'm sure your friends are helping you. Oh, Tolm is definitely helping. He's <laughs> actually quite good at survival. Excellent. Well, because there's four of you, two of you can check with two of you assisting. So, why not? Oh, okay. Can do First one. roll. Or I'll I'll assist. I'll make the second roll because I'm actually quite good at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second roll. Twelve and twenty-one. Nice. Cool. Oh, I like how you're doing the second one. Uh, it's gonna be a twenty-four. 
21, yeah. 24. Nice. Right. Okay. So yes. Um, after let's see here. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Yeah, it takes it takes about an hour. But um, after um, yeah, after an hour of looking around the forest here, and you can still hear as you know we come with Sirenscape that you can still hear the wind you know whistling through the tops of the trees. But down here underneath. Um, where there's a special kind of darkness even beyond you know the uh, the permanent night that's sort of almost permanent night that's grouped um this uh, this area um you have a kind of almost strange calm as like the snow that's escaped through the trees to the ground and the um the dead leaves um or pine needles depending what kind of trees are in that area um are kind of cushioning things. Thank you for the subscription, my friend. Um, and uh, cushioning things, and there's this kind of strange quietness and stillness to this area beneath the lower branches, with the massive canopy just stretched above. It's 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 a weird feeling because usually you'd be able to see glimpses of the sky through and things, but um, it's just this almost oppressive kind of ceiling on the darkness that's above you. Um, now, Shadow doesn't have dark vision, right? I do. Oh, you do. Sorry, my bad. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? Uh. <laughs> the Lauren Sorry. Trowel. What I know. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not sure. I was, I was thinking long couple of weeks. using I, your flaming sword. I no. think we're all okay now. I think our previous group had one when I had not man out. Oh, okay. Right. Everyone is everyone good? Yep. Nice. 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 Okay. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, Shadow. It has been a while, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Get back into this. Who are you? <laughs> okay, right. Now, um, let's see here. Okay, Mame, can you roll me a d4, please? Okay. One. Okay, nice. That is a good. That is a good roll. Okay. <laughs> um, so again, um, it takes another hour, not four hours, <laughs> and good job because every three hours there's a chance of a random encounter. <laughs> you've only got. You've only been here two hours so far. So well done. <laughs> um, didn't hit. Crunched over that. Um, so yes, after um, an hour of searching, you find clearly what are moose tracks, and then. After another hour of following them, you start to come closer, and Suyala, you start to realize that you you must be coming closer to this um, stone circle where this this stone circle was rumored to be, although you'd never um, seen it outside of that vision that you have. And you are making your way through the eerie um, kind of quiet of the forest. When, um, let's see, who's got the best passive? Mm, Soyala, um, you you hear soft noises off beyond some of the tree trunks to the right. I'm just gonna uh, direction to the right. I'm not gonna say anything. Just motion with. It's very, very soft sounds. The rest of you, what do you do? And just kind of a shh. Very quietly crouched. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely. As okay. Suggestion. Yeah, Mami, mean, this is prime Gloomstalker Ranger territory. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Can I do it? What are my abilities? Sorry, it's been so long. No problem, no problem. Let's have a look at those. Okay, so you're all just waiting to see if something emerges? Uh, I was just alerting them to that there was something there. But yeah. I will let Mummy lead the charge. Okay. How can I forget this? Each combat, my walking speeds increase by 10 until the end of that turn. 
if what what's the uh, condition for that? If uh, you st start in shadow or something? No, at at the start of your first turn of each combat, your walking speed is increased by ten feet, which lasts until the end of the turn. There you go. Nice. So I'm ready, guys. <laughs> Very prepared. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> should have should have just learned to smite. So. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> there's so many there's so many toys to play with, and now that you're uh, starting to level up as well, so oh, yeah, level seven now. <laughs> so as you are crouched, poised, ready for whatever may be approaching through the trees. You see a flash of white, and it's too small. There's no way it could be that far away through the trees. It's too small to be the moose. And as you're watching it, strange kind of erratic, kind of f jerky, kind of like leaping motion forward, you see that it's actually a snowshoe hare. Just skipping bunny. between the trees, yes, with its white fur standing out quite starkly against the uh, the darkness under the under the trees here. And Suyala, with your passive, you're the first to spot the Arctic fox, for some, for, which for some reason has a real world name. <laughs> it's like a snowshoe hare, but an Arctic fox, <laughs> which is stealthily following behind the rabbit and getting closer and closer uh, I don't want to see the rabbit get eaten <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna blow our cover okay what do you do <laughs> just gonna stand up and be like ah <laughs> just leap up and say <laughs> okay so, so uh, yes you just leap Back. up <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> you you leap up and, and the Arctic the Arctic fox just like it's like goes it just freezes for a second in surprise, just completely taken aback, and then just <laughs> there's a, a, a whisk of a white fluffy tail and it disappears off into the trees. And the rabbit looks round startled towards where the fox was disappearing. Be free! And it turns back to you. Fucking hell, that was close! What? Cheers, love! You almost, almost had me for breakfast. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> You've met several talking animals already. <laughs> yeah. Talking owl. I talked to Yeti. Hey, congratulations! Oh, Didn't see you lot there. Very nice work, very nice work. Wait, do we all hear this? Yep. Or is this just mommy? Just, just talking out loud. Thank God. <laughs> okay. I thought I was going insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is unexpected. And it comes like plunk, 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 over. Do, so. do I know of anyone that's, that's a bunny in town? Um, no. No, there are no, uh, there are no, <laughs> there are no herring guns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> out, they haven't Becky. escaped from the Feywild yet. <laughs> Not in the wacky verse, not yet. No, this is this is this, it's a very and it's it's talking like an adult, but it's a very it's a, just a regular rabbit size. It's not a large size or anything. And Quite it's not, adorable. It's not going up on its back legs. <laughs> and the hell? Are you it's, a it's, spirit? It, it, I'm should, the same thing. Should I should I be reminded of the people in town? This is not a person of town, or at least I'm not familiar. Like their me their their yeah. method of speaking. Does this remind me of the owl when we first met the stones, like the speaking type? Um. Yes. Yes. It okay. does. It does seem. It looks like an awakened owl. Yes. Oh. As you know, there have been um there have been druids loyal to the frost maiden who have been doing that. Um, guys, I think we're really near the stones. Hello. Um. All right. Um, ladies and gents, welcome to Lonelywood. <laughs> it is a pleasure to have you be our next um, 
visitors. Our next visitors? Well, most recently. here before. The, play, the people come traipsing through here all the time. Huh. Have any of them talked to with you? Um, a couple of them did. Yes, yes. I do like to uh, send folks on their way with a friendly word. <laughs> if you can speak, why do you live in the forest? It's my home. Why do you live in a house? Because I don't get eaten by wolves. Psh. Or foxes. <laughs> ah, foxes. I would have liked to see it try. <laughs> well, it was really close. Mm, but then when it pounced, the surprise would have been on it. Ah. What, anyway, what can you do? My, my big friend should be around here somewhere. Your big friend? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Um, he'll, he'll find you soon. What's your big friend look like? Oh, yo. Same color as me. It's very, very in fashion at the moment. You know, a nice bit of white goes with the snow. You know, you can hide when you want to. You know, quite, uh, quite, quite slimming if you look on the side. We'll look here. around. What, what type of features does it have? Is, is it a big bunny? Is it oh, a... No, is no, it a no, moose? No. It certainly is. It's got lovely big horns. They'll do you a treat, mate. <laughs> and um, you could be a bit of a challenge there. All the covered in all that metal and stuff. How are you keeping yeah. warm in that? That must be freezing. It's quite cold. Don't worry, he'll pry it open and get at the insides. <laughs> um. Why? Funny? So, so do you, do you defend the shrine or what? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of like hopping around here, um, you know, running into people when I can get the chance, and uh, just you know, <laughs> telling them what's in store. <laughs> um, well, yeah, we've been told that it's not good things. Oh no, you're fucked. <laughs> Oh God! Are you well, gonna are you, are you gonna tell him? Thank you, little friend. Oh no no don't worry. Um, I I, I don't carry any timepieces or anything, but it should be any moment now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna climb into the trees. <laughs> oh yeah, they've tried that before. <laughs> How big is this moose? <laughs> oh, just you see. <laughs> is he nearby? I'm um, should be. Yeah, he likes to roam around these parts, catch a stray logger or two for breakfast. <laughs> he he ate the loggers? Um, a couple of them. I, I I'm not sure if they were all loggers. Some of them looked like they were trying to hunt the moose. <laughs> Silly fools. I think this this bunny is a distraction, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for any have, kind of I have movement. been told I am thoroughly distracted, yes. I look around my surroundings and prepare my bow. Oh. Also thinking about shooting the fucking rabbit, but I don't say that out loud. I think it. What's your point? Nothing? I, I, I think you should move along. I can do. Got stuff to do, you know? Busy bunny, busy bunny. Yeah, go. Eat some grass. Hmm. Yeah, grass? Yeah. Well, why aren't you affected by the moose? Why, why, why isn't it interested in you? I don't come from Lonelywood. What? Well, but you are. You just said so. I'm from the Lonely Wood. I don't come oh. from the village of Lonely Wood. The moose mm -hmm. is only only concerned with killing them. Why? Because they're encroaching on the forest. Chop oh, down the yeah. trees, we'll chop down your loggers. <laughs> There's plenty of trees. Plenty of loggers, oh, so far. <laughs> uh, he makes a point. We'll see which runs out first. You want to make a wager? No. no. Don't carry much coin. <laughs> well, if if you you won't live to see it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that that's gonna be my. my Surely report. there there could be an understanding here. I would hope. You're welcome to try. <laughs> right. Hey, hey maybe well, you could parlay on our behalf, bunny. No, oh, I'm gonna piss off over here. Yeah, um, all the best to you. I mean, you know, <laughs> watch out for the horns. <laughs> and just like mm. bounces off between the trees and disappears. Oh my god, this fucking buddy. Oh. Should, should let the fox get him. <laughs> Damn it, so I hope at least we had that interaction. <laughs> well, um, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, Sounds like we should get ready. Just gonna hear it's, it again. Uh, it's all quiet down. Uh, I mean, I understand. Set an ambush. I go up into the trees. 
Okay, and you yourself up into the branch. So now we have two people in the trees? <laughs> yeah, but yep. I'm gonna be very stealthily and hide myself in the shadows. No, I'm not- I'm not very good at climbing. I am, but I'm not gonna leave you behind. <laughs> oh, I'm getting ready to strike from above. You hear me whisper from wherever I am. Get, you know what, let's- let's just see. Let's just see. Um, um, Tone uncorks a flask. Oh, here we go. <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I mean... I feel resilient. This is fine, I guess. <laughs> that sounds promising. Oh, well, I'm going to give myself bomb. a touch of resistance then. Um, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll drink another one because I'm, I'm fishing. And then I'll give you words of encouragement from above. Tom, it's okay. You got this. Plus D4 for any ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, by the way. Nice. Um... Okay. Very encouraging chicken. Yeah, very <laughs> encouraging. <laughs> but like you hear it from like the shadows of the tree line. <laughs> so um, either either mommy's hiding up there somewhere, or it's or it's a tree ant. You're not sure which. <laughs> I well, well. Speaking speaking of tree ants, John. Um, this the 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 thing I rolled was a, basically a free alter self spell. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stand like right next to the tree, and the alter self is gonna be just tree pattern. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. So you're you're digging in here, right? Yes. Okay. It's so y'all are climbing the tree. Um, if Tol has made it up, then yes, I will. I, I have not made it up. I no, have not, okay, I have not even I have not even attempted. Okay, <laughs> no, then he's, I will... he's, he's I am, tree colored. I'm standing he's, next he's to a tree. Washed. And oh, my, okay. And my metal has um, become tree yeah. colored. Okay. And tree well, patterned. If, it, if you say so, I you feel I don't, good. I don't say so. I don't feel good. But this is the best we're gonna get. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll go up a tree, but I'll keep an eye out. Okay. You hunker down and wait. And wait. The wind whipping through the tops of the trees above. Shadow of Mame. Uncomfortable showers of minute kind of powdery snow gets knocked off by the wind and kind of comes cascading down through the trees from time to time. Somehow finding that, that tiniest of cracks between your furs and your neckline. <laughs> but as the two of you lurk in the branches, Tom is merging in with the trees. Oh, sorry, sorry you're up the tree too as well, sorry. The three of you are up there in the branches. Tom is there, trying to blend in and camouflage themselves with the trees. And then, behind the largest trunk it could find, the shield guardian has gone side on. I forgot about him <laughs> there. <laughs> oh shit, I could have just had him leave, like, lift me up to the tree. <laughs> oh, you're right. He's hiding, hiding behind the biggest tree trunk it could find. And as the cold seeps into your furs, all of the warmth that you'd captured in there from the speaker's house and breakfast being unceremoniously evicted as the chill of Icewind Dale and the endless winter of Aurel's magic seeps deeper and deeper. Shadov, it's not cramps, but you do feel yourself getting stiff. <laughs> Having perhaps spent the least time of everyone up this far north. And you think back wistfully to the snout of Ongar, that beautiful tropical island, <laughs> where if anything it was just a little bit too hot, but <laughs> it's better than this. <laughs> and 
just when you almost feel like giving up, when the cold is becoming almost unbearable, you starts to hear that creaking crunch of footfalls on snow. Mame, with your experience and your ranger abilities, it is definitely a four-legged creature. Tong. Does that give you advantage on stealth or anything like that? I mean... GM Fiat. <laughs> okay. Doesn't so, doesn't mechanically do that. What what is the um what was the spell? Um, alter self. Is that just an appearance thing? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll say I'll say with advantage there. Okay. Um Shadow Sayala, um please make a um a stealth check. And uh Mami, um you can make with advantage too in the shadows up there. Oops. Uh, thirteen, John. Thank you. Wait, do do stealth, I get advantage? Stealth. I'm also in the. the ah, but you're not trees. a gloom. You're not a gloom stalker ranger. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, seventeen. Nice. Eleven. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay. Thank you. For an average of sixteen, as you are hiding up there in the trees. Let me quickly check something here. Sorry, I, hadn't, I was I was expecting this to happen at the stone circle, not here. <laughs> so I just need a little air, Janassi. Thank you for that. <laughs> We could slowly Naruto tree jump. <laughs> and sh and then like Tom could be just like a trunk carried by the the guardian. <laughs> Another slowly. logger, right? Um, yes, a giant logger. <laughs> there you go. Metal version. Actually, too mechanical. I know. <laughs> New technology. Um, let's see. So, excuse me, everybody. Find something suitable here. Doop, doop, doop. Tom walks out. It is I, the tree. You have saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Great moves. <laughs> Oh, right. So it's like a child's play. Yes. <laughs> I am the great tree! <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> okay. Oh, bad luck, Rubble Jacks, getting those tech goblins. And who is saying Oyasumi to. Papa Dragon, Oyasumi. Dear Janassi, eight months. Wow. Thank you, Janassi. Pleasure as always. Okay. Just as the wind blows. This could be... <laughs> this could be a bit more uh, forested for my liking, but never mind, it'll do. Okay. Sorry, dear players. Let us get you... Ah, oh, teeny tiny. I love this music, though. <laughs> Not ominous at all. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, good, oh, good. I've only died. A few times. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> I'm almost... One for real, and then the other close. <laughs> and then Zoyala's died. That's true. And then I've almost been killed a couple times. So, yeah. What's one more time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, where am I looking? We need a shield guardian. Boom. And we need... Tom Grimbrew. 
Mr. Grim Brew. <laughs> okay. The tree. So. Let's us head over here and now, my friends. Here we go. Quickly cobbled together. So these are, you know, these are the trees up here. So they, let's put the um, shield guardian. Sorry, folks, this will become a bit more um, in focus in a moment. It's like over here behind this tree. <laughs> so which which trees are you in, my friends? I guess I'll be next to the shield guardian Use tree. Some woods. I know, sorry, I was like, like I said, I wanted more trees. <laughs> but, uh, uh, spur of the moment, here we go. I'll be in this tree. Okay, look. Shadow, which, is, which tree do you claim, sir? Is each grid five feet? Yeah. Oh, the wow. Big trees. Or should I be in this tree? I'll, I'll this take tree. a southern tree. <laughs> okay, done. I'll oh, he was keeping time. the distance. <laughs> you cover all the angles, you know. Oh, you got to watch those moose with their uh, area of effects attacks. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, charging attacks, yes, maybe. Got, got big horns, I hear. All right. Antlers. Be Antlers, careful! Yeah, right. They like to drink things or drown things. So there's some water over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. For bearing like with me there, everybody. Crown things we should have switched. I mean, that would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, not falling for that one again. <laughs> <laughs> and last. last All of a sudden, you're like, I should, I should have just made it warm again. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you could can call. Yeah. Do that like. I once a day or. I, mean, <laughs> I think it's once a day. I, Need to write it down again. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As you are looking, sorry, thank you, everybody. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> um, you, as I say, hear the approach of a beast, and you, um, that sixteen wasn't it? Was the uh, the check there? The uh, paste our friend here. There we go. <laughs> Here they come, the moose approacheth. Oh my god. We're going to get ready. <laughs> As you see it's this a, large... He's my berries, god. right? <laughs> White berries? Berry berries. loving. They got all <laughs> over his antlers. <laughs> all over the place. Moose. Berries, messy eater. Comes ponderously moving through the forest. And let's have a little look at our passive perception here. Okay, yes. It does not appear to notice you as it passes um, towards the center between you all. So, let's let's roll initiative just to have it ready. And let's I roll see. good. See. <laughs> um Mummy, what? what's does the shield guardian go on your turn or does it get its own initiative? I don't know, I don't have it wait, how do I get to check, check its stats again? Um you got the you got the control amulet thing, didn't you? I think it goes on your turn, but I don't. Let me check my inventory. Um I don't have the amulet in my inventory. Okay, two seconds. Let me quickly find that for you. Sorry. No, no, no. Bad rolls. <laughs> Lost Spire of Netheril. That's where we found it. Guys, I just saw y'all's initiative. <laughs> Tom. I, I said Tom roll good. Correct. <laughs> I guess my gloomstalkerness is working. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm over here debating. Still stealth, you know. You know, do do I do I jump out and try to negotiate or wait? I I don't think negotiating. <laughs> really you don't negotiate out. with terrorist moose. <laughs> you heard the you heard the but rabbit. He made a point. It's a forest, you know. It's your family, Soyella. I know. I say until it's also the moose with the slug. I put the slug on my head. Soyella, your family 
you must protect the, the your village. But I, but I want to try to protect as many lives as I can. It's also the most oil. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's eaten too much life already. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, Mummy, I think on the um, inventory management um, thing, if you if you click to add an item and if you go for um, shield guardian amulet, okay, um, it should pop up in D D Beyond. It seems to be a, an official thing. Hey, Patros. Um, let's have a look. What we do have in store for you here. Every shield guardian, guardian has an amulet magically linked to it. It can only have one corresponding amulet, and if it's destroyed, it is incapacitated until it is cre another is created. Um, if da, 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 the amulet's wearer can command the guardian to attack its enemies or to guard the wielder against attack. If an attack threatens to injure the wearer, the construct can magically absorb the blow into its own body, even at a distance. A humanoid that attunes to this amulet knows the distance direction. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it doesn't say... I think, actually, when we did do... When you introduced it, it was on its own initiative. Right, because as, be as, as it arrived, battle. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just so always do, do always do that kind of stuff on initiative, just right. to make it simple. Should I roll its initiative? How do I do that? I or will give you. you that? I'll give you the uh, stat block for it. Okay. Mummy. And mummy. Here you are. Okay. How do I check that? Oh. That should be in your uh, in your journal now. Um, or you can, if you select the token and then shift double click, it will come up for you. Ooh, fancy! <laughs> now, if you have the if you have the token selected, and then if you open its character sheet, um, at the top there's like a little D twenty mark with in it. If you have the token selected and click on that, it'll put the initiative in there automatically. Mm, character sheet. Um, just to the right, see. to the right of armor class. Ah, uh, armor class. Ah, uh, initiative. Yep. There we go. Nice. How do we go? Eleven. Not bad. All right. Boom. Let's put those in descending order. <laughs> just, just, oh after, just after you. <laughs> after all that. Um, and by the way, um, this this character sheet is completely clickable. So if you click. Um, just for, as a practice, click where it says fist for the attack. Oh, wait. God. So, shift, double click. To open the character sheet, yeah. Character sheet. And then I just click the... Where oh! It says fist. Mm -hmm. Let's roll over. And then, and multi-attack. Alright. Uh, yep, so do you, do you want to try it out? Just click, click where it says fist. Fist. There you go. That should show you. I think is that only gone to you? I can't see. Yeah, that. it hasn't gone to us. So it, I, I just see it. It, it okay, says I... to initiative eleven fist ten. You got, na you got a natural one. <laughs> natural one. Nicely done. Nicely done. Then, um, if you hit, um, if you click where it says fist in the chat bar, where it just appeared with that natural one, then that will mm -hmm. give you the damage. I can see it oh. on my on my chat bar. It's not showing up in everyone's. I think it was ten. No, that's that's because it always rolls two in case you want to have disadvantage or advantage. Ah, okay. Um, so you click where it says fist in the white box there. Yeah, there you go, and it gives you the damage. All right, okay. I know how to do this. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. And any any checks that it needs to make, you can click any 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 value and everything on the sheets there is uh, is clickable. Okay. Right. Okay. Sorry, everybody. Thank you for that. Um, now. Oh, by that note, that nifty little uh, spell storage, spell storing ability there, that's cool. Okay, let's see. It gets 10 HP back as well. Right, okay. Oh my Thank you, god, everybody. his hit points. Rah. That's a big boy. Okay, so, the moose... 
is moving forwards slowly and you will get a surprise round. Oh, speaking of the moose, I didn't put the moose in, did I? Roll. Aha. I shall come between you and your shield guardian. <laughs> but if indeed you are hidden away and it is unaware of you, um, then you will get a surprise round. So, as it slowly moves forwards, Mummy, you would you would go first. What, do you are you waiting for something in particular, or waiting to see what happens, or what? Um, before this, I have a psychic conversation with Soyella before it moves like Soyella. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to attack it. I know it goes against what you believe in, but this moose cannot go around. It's dangerous. And then I shoot an arrow and casting smearing smite at the same time. Okay. So with my radiant longbow, does a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not holding back at all. <laughs> and that's what she does. Are you sure yes, that yes it does. <laughs> oh, and so, go. so because uh, it's the first round, this is the, the this is the piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Um, because of my class feature, the first the one gets a special D6 increased damage. So it's plus five. And then because of the spell at second level. You're just gonna one shot this? Yeah, remember, it, all the all the dice are doubled. One uh, plus is being smite! Wait, let me check this. Sorry about uh, this, Soyal. Yeah, here. So you yeah, have a memory. It's kind of premonition of what was about to happen, Soyala. Sorry. I'm sorry about what I have to do. Plus <laughs> one this. shot. Put it out of its misery. What the fuck is all this? So. Wait, I don't think. Yeah. And also because. Oh, not. Minus that one for five. The favorite foe one. So okay. it's the five piercing. And. Wait, no, yeah, that, that five. Uh, so 10 plus 10 fire damage, so 20 damage, so double? Um, we usually do double the number of dice, so dice. do you want to roll that again? <laughs> I roll everything again. Okay. Oh god, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so, um, bow. It's a three. Plus three. the spell. Okay. Uh. Just the dice, so. Oh. Eight. Okay. So. So that was twenty. <laughs> and eleven. Twenty. Twenty-eight. And thirty-one. Mm. I believe. So it's right? twenty. Thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Is it thirty-one? Yeah. The three, three the damaging. Three. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what's what does this spell look like? This this epic, <laughs> incredible, incredible spell. From the shadows, Mama just hones her gloomstalker self. Total focus after talking to Soyella. I release. My arrow, multiple times, shooting out piercing arrows aflame with fire towards the moose, strike its side. The moose has intense pain on its side, being pierced mul like twice, multiple times, and it catches on fire. <laughs> All right. So we yes. have two attacks. I was oh, gonna say, yeah, now I you're, you're multi-attack. <laughs> Second attack is normal. First, let's see if it hits. Um, Another 20. The second attack 
It would be Soundscape providing the bellows of pain. <laughs> is a 19 plus, so plus 7. She's so more. 6. She... Uh, it's so that's almost, a, almost a 20. 10 damage, 10 piercing damage. So that's 41 damage in total. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? This moose, Terra of Lonelywood, is blooded <laughs> already. <laughs> As you suddenly rise up from the branches off to the side and this arrow just goes spiraling empowered with the magics and everything behind it and slams into the side the fire quickly spreading through its white fur as it bellows and rises up on its back legs kicking pouring at the air with its front and its huge horns thrashing this way and that as it bellows in pain and it looks very very pissed off <laughs> Not not um, for nothing, but I, I do. It was bloodied when it got here. It's just <laughs> just catching up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was buried. <laughs> now, on its turn, because you are not getting a surprise round, so you're not all going first. It's it's fainting us. Snarls in anger. <sighs> I knew you were here, and still, you sneaky villagers, pay! And it charges your tree, mummy. <laughs> I need shield. And slams into the um, trunk of the tree. Can you give me um, give me a dexterity saving throw? Okay. Uh, seven. A seven. No, it's not enough. Okay. So as this gigantic beast, its huge horns slam into the trunk of the tree, it shakes and quivers, and you slip on the icy branches. You do not suffer falling damage because you can glide. But you are knocked onto the ground in front of it. <laughs> By me, <new> shield. <laughs> and it goes for you with its antlers. You're not knocked prone or anything, so you glide down with your wings. Mm. But it does go for you with its antlers. Desperate for revenge. No. Death. Death to all who come from the buildings and the houses and the and it goes for you uh, only a 13 uh, well, no, me I have my advantages 25 uh, <laughs> yeah and I cast as a reaction at a second level Humblewood Spiny Shield okay um, to the cast. remind me of what that is oh just yeah, thank you there uh, you go. oh Yep, ethereal barrier of spikes, blah 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 blah. Um, you reduce by 2d4. Okay. Okay, so let's see what the damage is. <laughs> the damage was too piercing and you reduced it by 6. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. 2. Hang on, how did that work? It was 2d8, I rolled a 4 and a 0, huh? and it came up as 2. <laughs> hmm? A 4 and a 0? Apparently. What? You have a negative modifier? A zero? How's, it going? How's it going, Rolf? What? How are you doing? You right there? <laughs> Is it working in my favor? I no. think I'm, I'm going to roll some real dice. <laughs> I was okay, going to say, please. sounds like real dice is needed. <laughs> okay, here we go. This, this is better. Okay, so that is 13, 13 piercing damage. Minus six. I know, right, Polly? Polly? <laughs> a zero on a d8. <laughs> it's the secret, I unlocked the secret ninth face when, of the d8. When the d8 lands like this, just, <laughs> it's just on the peak. <laughs> you just on the, you count it as a zero. <laughs> just end, endless motion spinning there. So okay. I get eight so piercing you damage. take... Um, nope, seven. Seven. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah, you take seven and it takes six. 
as it snarls in anger as the uh, spine, icy spines um, dig into it. And is that just once? Um, let me see. Until, until your next head. turn. Yeah, it sounds unlimited. Yep. Until your next yep. turn. Yeah, that's right. By. Until your next yep. turn. Okay. So, but is it gonna hit again? This um, this does not. Yeah, this does not uh, understand, and it's just enraged by that first attack as it saw the arrow come from there. And it seems to have expected you to be here, and uh, it goes for you, um, with its hoofs next. Um, I'll cast my last second level spell slot with the spiny. No, you still have it. It's it, it it. up. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. Uh, that and is a 22. Um, minus three. No, so that, that was a 22 to hit, so that hits. Uh, it's, it, hits um, it hits, it hits, sorry. It's okay. Two, not so, not so much damage as the uh, antlers. And that is going to be, um, ten, ten reduced to seven. And it takes three damage. And it takes three, yes. It snarls in anger. Curse you. Curse all of you. Get down. Down from your trees, cowards. Okay. Now, um, Sabrina, what, what does the shield guardian do? Uh, the shield guardian will go up from behind it. Mm -hmm. you, you, can, you can control it. Oh, okay. So it's going to move... Oh, yes. And it's going to do, let's see, um, fist. Okay, roll to hit, yep. Twelve hits. Twelve hits. Yes, it's rather lumbering, <laughs> lumbering uh, beast. Um, and then I click it to for the... If you click where it says fist, yep. You should get the damage. It's your bad. Seven. Bludgeoning. Okay. And it has another attack, yep. Yeah. Oh. And then I'll just... Yeah. Yep, yeah, two, two attacks. Come on, shield guardian. <laughs> you can do it, Shieldy. Mm. Yep, that hits. 14. Okay, what's the damage? Six. Six, oof, okay. The moose is on its last legs already. <laughs> I was I was quite spooked, but apparently it didn't need to be. <laughs> Shadov. Shadov, get down here. Yeah, he's kind of far, uh, so I'm going to take out my crossbow. Uh, before Mommy gets gored to death and uh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, one of my lucks to re-roll that uh, nine. You have, you have a you have a crystal as well. Okay, I'll use okay. a crystal to re-roll that ten. <laughs> Number twelve hits. Okay, uh, twenty. Not natural though. Okay, yeah, that hits. <laughs> And, uh, how do I, what? Oh, that's a max damage, so 12 damage. <laughs> okay. Shadow, Vengeance Paladin, tell me what happens. <laughs> After seeing the deadly, deadly, what is it, bow work of Mame the Ranger, I just kind of quietly sneak in a crossbow shot and it's hindquarters and mm -hmm. that just does the trick he just kind of flops indeed. over after getting pummeled by the guardian and mommy <laughs> okay I didn't even get a chance to talk <laughs> that's Sorry. the best fight right I, have to do it. I was sitting here like okay we're going to have a fight, tough fight today. I got to think about what spells I'm going to bring. All right, we're going to be fighting a moose in the forest. I'm going to bring web, but we're going to restrain him. We're going to make this thing. <laughs> no, I'm just going to just gonna die. It's going to die. What the hell? The that 20. Um, I'm going to go down and I guess check on it. I, yeah. 
time. There is a um, there is a yes. There's the thrum that the crossbow is into his side, and and Ramit just goes. He's just like staring at you. It's like you know this angry red eyes just. <laughs> And just like goes down onto the snow and uh, Sir Ali you come running over and it's just like it kind of ineffectually kind of lunging in your uh, in your direction but uh, you didn't kind even of get him nimbly... a chance I didn't think that would so, sorry guys I'm still in shock with damage give me a second Mm. Nice shot, Mom. Mia Sarah is like, yeah, good shot. But Mia Soyal is like, why'd you do this? <laughs> you, are, you okay? are you okay, Mommy? Um, I feel the darkness of the shadows. I don't know. It, it, it just felt like what it did to the loggers, it was so horrible that I'm not sure. No, you're right. It was bad. Like that, he was he was a he was a bad he was a bad he's moose. A bad moose. Well, but what did we do as the villagers? We were fighting him in his home. We were destroying well, the moose his home. Is dead. We can't undead him to talk about it. So I he's, say we shake him up. He's very he's breathing very shallowly now. Clearly, clearly on the way to uh, I, wherever wherever moose go. <laughs> um, I mean, and he's just like <laughs> just kind of. Blood is kind of coming out of his mouth, and it's just like, I did not claim you, but the Frost Maiden will. May she freeze your bones. It's a bad moose. So the, he worked with the Frost Maiden. All right, I don't feel that bad anymore. It's like total like guilt and everything, just like off Mama's chest. Just like, Phew. I'm sorry, Soyal, but he was a bad moose. So we got three of the bad moose. Have you guys come across? Camp. You don't seem perplexed by these, by this bunny talking, by this moose talking. What have you come across others like this? The only time I've seen this was when we were. When we found that other, um, yes, well, but, it was another feline. But so, before you, before about. you, before you joined us, we were accosted. What was was it? Was it? It was just like it was an owl, calling. right? Yeah, and then it was an owl, talking owl. But that owl was a good owl. It's a nice guy. Yeah, I, 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 invite him out for a drink, if I could drink. <laughs> All I know is the last one that we saw, that we met, uh, in our travels. He said he was turned by some druids or something. That sounds about right. From the Frost mm. Maiden. And this was working with the Frost Maiden. Mm. Enlightened animals, depending on who enlightened them, can be good or bad for us, I'm guessing. The owl was good because Trent. it was... Trent, that's who it was. Saber to the tiger. Now in, now in Barovia. Now in Barovia. <laughs> Trent was but... good. Trent. Well, and Trent was good, but he knew that he was changed by her. And I wonder if others, oh, if they don't get much of a choice. I doubt they do. And I think this moose points my hat, wing at this moose, chose to eat loggers and not talk with the loggers at first. Because if he wanted discussion, then he would have discussed it with the loggers first before eating them. As you point Not to it, it, it very weakly and effectually kind of tries to like butt its horns towards you, but just doesn't have the strength anymore. I mean, we could still save him, her. Sorry, I don't know your gender. Um, I will start carving up the moose with my flaming it, sword. It's still breathing. Not anymore. <laughs> we'll start carving up the moose with flaming sword. <laughs> oh, damn oh. that, Nat 20. Maybe choke on my spit. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is 
dispatched. The only way to save. I'm a little I'm a little bit torn up, but not not that much. I'm just saying, what if she's had a control over people? That's true. People that probably wouldn't have acted that way before and have changed. Maybe, you know, it, it's sure, maybe this moose was angry for many reasons, but again, we would have been angry if it was the moose. We are angry. Villagers have been upset that this moose has been attacking people. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's all about choices and how they are at the beginning, like with um, Mockingbird. We didn't know him really, but he chose the Frost Maiden. And so it's all about people's choices he's, and actions. He's stones. Well, let's talk about this on the way back to the warm speaker's I, house. Uh, no, we have I, to still go to the stones. I, I agree. What? I have I've had a dream about that area. Oh, but the house was so warm. <laughs> we will get yeah, some fine, eventually. Fine, fine. I'll just I'll just ah, He takes out the summer stone. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna oh make it boy. warm. <laughs> Maybe trigger more eyes. We haven't really touched right? this forest. Very okay. two-turn thing. Tom triggers the summer star. Oh, jeez. And controls the weather. In a what? What was the radius? Uh, five mile. Five I mile believe. radius. <laughs> I don't know, Tom. Last time, some cold light guys came for our butts. Well, I mean. Our Gallus friend just annihilated this thing, so I we haven't really used any new spells, so... I used a lot. I, just, I, I only used two! Oh my god! <laughs> that was a very effective... very effective hit. Well, let's get to these stones, then. Yes, yeah, we'll, we'll head there, but I'm gonna be... Um also the lookout of like yeah of, of if there's any more movement mm -hmm. light walker or otherwise okay so <laughs> it's okay you don't have to walk off the map it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's very very in character thank you um and um yes you you do leave the moose in the snow and start Wait, to continue. That. Are you, like, Are you taking pieces? Butchering it? I don't. Do you guys know how to make jerky? At home? I could probably figure it out, but I'd be much more interested in using its its leather. Ah, well. You could you could tell some of the hunters probably have a, a sled and things for this properly. You can tell them tell them where it is. All right, we'll come back. It'll I be also preserved. have yeah. a shield guardian. <laughs> That's true. But it's too probably too big. Never mind. I don't have to. I could make the proper tools just if you give me a few minutes. Proper I don't tools let all this or... go to waste. It's, probably... it's frozen out here. It'll keep it's just freezing. fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, not now. Yeah. It, told, it, it, but... it, it's not going to be frozen for much longer. Oh, you donkeys! <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> Can you do it? Can you turn it off? Well, you can make it cold. I, I don't you can think make it's cold. I, I, could, I could just put it back at the normal temperature. Yeah. Just, just do that. Keep it frozen. Oh, no. Okay. Everybody's like, oh, a little bit of... Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> well, there it goes. That's, that's the is, day. Is this it? Is that a tall to... Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Just, it's just tall. False alarm. <laughs> okay. It's like one of those, you know, one of those fake springs that comes and then the snow comes back in. False, yeah. False, <laughs> False spring. spring. Okay. We, we know about that in Michigan. Yep. <laughs> so, wow, it's like 50 today. Oh, no! <laughs> so, following the direction where it came, um, 
Toln and Mame, with your survival skills, you are able to track the um, the um, footsteps of the moose through the forest. A um, couple of moments where you know the the snow kind of thins out under the tree canopy here, and and you have to have a search around again. But you find it up and pick up the trail again, and eventually you find yourselves approaching something through the trees. You can see something visible ahead. And allow me to bring you over to the map. Everyone has eyes on you. You good? You good? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, the trees ahead of you starts to thin out a little, and you arrive at what must be your destination, but Soyara, it looks very different to the vision that you had in the dream. I mean, I was hoping for green, but I expected no. The first thing you see, as you can see on the map there, just through the trees, are six Elevated white marble statues arranged in a line which depict slender robed figures facing north. The engraving on their faces has been worn away by the wind, but pointed ears make the statues identifiable as elves. Of one type or another, should of. Perhaps those fabled drow that live up here beyond the frozen north. Who knows? Your sister used to always talk about they that. They seem familiar. <laughs> and yet... Mm -hmm. Can I investigate Ma Mami, Tom, you've experienced these once before. Should we be cautious? I mean, I, I'm in favor of always being cautious. However, I, I vaguely remember things being beneficial. Yeah, being time. safe. I mean, seeing it in my dream, it looked safe. We killed the moose. It's probably fine. <laughs> hey. Now, Mame, um, Shadov, as you make your way forward and emerge from the trees into the space by the statues there, over to the um, west, you can see a door. I believe you can see it over here, yes? Mm. Uh, Mame. Mm. Yeah? Now, I, I, I don't want to alarm any of the, of the others, but I just remembered that the summer god was a moose. No, it was a stag. Yeah. It was a stag. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're okay. I we wouldn't have shot see it. why you get those confused. No, I wouldn't have done it. I just, I'm like, I remember, I'm like, no, I remember. A it's a fair, fair concern. Fair concern. <laughs> like, not talk. It was a stag. It was fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Where I came from, like, there's, there's no hooved, antlered creatures. So I, 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 I kind of got them, kind of got them confused. I would <laughs> like to open the door. As is my tradition. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit! He's opening the door. We should go. We should go. Um, guardian, stay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Guardian, have, go over there. Have him guard and stuff. Like it's in his name. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna. He's gonna. Just guard stay. the door. He's gonna guard the door, right here. Sure. Um. So yeah, Shadow, as you make your way over there, um, you see. 
that they're embedded in the hillside south um, south of this uh, circular indentation which you can peer through and uh, see there um, to the north um, there is a stone door with no visible handles or hinges should have it is your nightmare a door which cannot be opened <laughs> Bami can, God. Can, can we have the garden help us out here stores wait wait let me let me let me take a look at it is there is there any like markings on it or anything anything around nope. it like a spell mechanisms sliding door um make an investigation check the last place I'll is do my door that. the last stone circle area is this my good dice this is my good dice let's now, see so you can't see into the interior yet that that's um that raised area next to Tulner is 10 feet high. I got, oh, okay. an, I got an 18 on my investigation. I got a 12. Okay. I should have just gave you advantage. Tom, you investigate thoroughly and realize that this door appears to only open from the inside and it is airtight. This door appears to only open from the air inside and it is airtight. Oh, so there's nothing. We're gonna need the guardian. Can we see, can we see over? Um, above it's just hillside. Oh, so like trees. we can't. So we can't. Really? So so it's just a door, and it like covering it is a hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna just be like left. Mm -hmm. No. Hey, the guardian can be yeah, open, you, right? If you give me enough time, I could probably make like some sort okay. of newer based just explosive. We go through this possibly. area right here, right? That's a bad you idea. You are right. Many. Oh, sorry. What? Um, I was, I was trying to think of ideas. Oh. Area to our the. Now, so Yella, as you make your way up there next to your friends and spy through the barrier into that circular area, you see a familiar sight, but different changed there are the stones from your vision arrayed as they were during that vision but in the midst of them as you can see on the map there there is a large triangular crystal spike like you'd typically find in the middle of a sundial. It's thick near the base and it narrows to a sharp point at the top. The snow... Tom, did you reverse the spell? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Despite Tom reversing, reversing the spell, the snow around this immediate uh, area has melted. And there is a, a circle of symbols carved into the stone on the interior of the stone circle. And the symbols depict the phases of the moon. Suggesting that it is not a sundial, but a moon dial. That's peculiar. In the northwest section of the indentation here something has punched a rough hole into the wall creating a dark opening that leads under the hill <laughs> well I think uh, there's another way in oh let's take a look should I go first? Door. <laughs> you would like we're gonna get this door open don't worry <laughs> Um, we'll just be on our way out, probably. Ton, Ton walks in. So yeah, you step into yeah, those I'll stones I'll follow there. As well. And as you do, Ton, you kind of reach out suddenly as um, Sayala stumbles, losing her balance. Oh. Huh? And Sayala, you you reach out to pour and 
put it on one of the stones to steady yourself. And the scene fades from around you. The stones remain, but all of the extra construction, ancient in its own right, but clearly added after, has disappeared. And you find yourself standing in the stone circle of your vision. And a single, small yellow bird comes whooshing over your shoulder, does one circle around the stones, alights on the far side from where you stand, preens its feathers a little, makes eye contact, looking at you very meaningfully, and with a joyous song, as you are where you are meant to be, it takes to the wing once more, and in a flurry of colour, disappears off out into the distances where your vision fades into the dark forest. And as it disappears, the elven construction and the extras that have been added onto this site starts to fade back into view and the wind returns and the snow billows once more and you see your friends again. And you have arrived at the Lonelywood Stone Circle. And we shall return to the Lonelywood Stone Circle next week. <laughs> Thank you everybody. Let's get to our time there. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes. Um, the, uh, this, this, the moose part of this encounter is one of the possible first encounters that you have when you start this campaign. <laughs> so it is not terrible. <laughs> Although for a first level group, that could be quite, quite gnarly. <laughs> no, uh, no 30 odd points of damage in one hit from level ones. <laughs> yeah, I, from from how I understand damage, the, I think? the mod, yeah. <laughs> the, P -p plus my guardian. <laughs> yes. And your spiky shield. <laughs> from how I knew the module was written, I was like, it's probably not going to be that strong. <laughs> yeah, but, but the, it's it's lethal though, like because compared to um like you know, as beginnings, like some of the beginnings. Like Goodmead, Goodmead is, I think, the, uh, the best one. I've seen uh, quite a f quite a few people use. Oof, sorry, excuse the dead guy in the snow. <laughs> Extreme close up. Oral, oral, I, 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 I at least thought, like you know, it's gonna get to, like you know, Shadow, like you know, Soyala and Tom, but I didn't think it would just be me, Guardian Shadow. <laughs> well, we got a we got a free tavern out of it, so like. There you go. Indeed. Start calling you Slaughterhouse. <laughs> uh, no, Frostman does not start at five. No, it's, it stays as it starts at level one. Yeah, that's right. Roll decks. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you, everyone. It's lovely to have you back, and nice to be back into the adventure. I'm uh, looking forward to next week as you head into this mysterious opening in the mountainside, Ooh. and uh, we shall see what lies within. Right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Um, I hope it's um, I hope everyone had a good time. Thank you for those um, follows and all the subscriptions as well. Thank you so much. It's lovely for the support and good to good to be back with you all. Now, let us head on um, raiding somewhere. Let us see who. Thank you, Robble Jacks. It's very good to be back. Tadaima, tadaima. Um, okay, let us see who is streaming so we can go and say hi, hello, and. Uh, see what's going on there but before we do don't worry i haven't forgotten <laughs> we do have our giveaway to draw so let us see who the lucky winner is today and receiving some of that fabulous ccrpg goodness so let's see here okay so yeah everyone let's um do that as i give you one last chance if you are not already entered please exclamation mark enter to win a pdf of 
Icewind Dale related adventures. If you're playing Frostmaiden, you can use it in that, or any wintry environment. You can throw them into your game and enjoy those encounters and uh, Christian's amazing design in uh, any of your campaigns. Um, so yes, if you're not already entered, please do, as I do a quick rundown of what's coming up. We will be back in the Underdark with Out of the Abyss, and then off to Barovia once more, for Barovia and beyond. Then, on Friday, we're over on the Sea of Fallen Stars, back to Chisenta, and our Chisenta's Tyranny team, the adventure, the whole module coming from CZRPG on that one, and upcoming products of theirs. And then, on Saturday... We will be over on Quest Junkies UK to do their Humblewood game. Hey, Josh. Yes, me and Josh and some other friends of ours. Um, you can catch us all there. Ah, sorry, I, for some reason I haven't got it in my head. Charlie, excuse me. Of course, we do have before that, before Friday, on Friday or Thursday evening, depending where you are, we have our Wild Beyond the Witchlight as well. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, all sorts of goodies coming back. We are back in full force and very much looking forward to seeing you wherever and whenever you can join us. And without further ado, let us close up this giveaway and see who is going to be our lucky winner today. Closing those entries. Oop. I said it, I said it. <laughs> okay, so tonight's winner is... Oop. Hans! Our good friend Hans. I know he will put that to good use. Okay, Hans loves D&D, &D, so hopefully he will love this project as well. Okay, so there we go. Thank you, everyone. Shut up, so you have a tall mummy. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again next week, and I will see all of you very, very soon. So, that's all for today, folks. Thank you so much. Hey, Aileen, how you doing? See you on Friday. And uh, everyone, yes, let us head on off. It is time to say goodbye. Um, Lee, our friend Lee, let's change up the system a little bit. Um, we are finishing up with D&D here. Let's get, head over to Lee. Um, she's having some afternoon tea and chatting about Warhammer. So let's go and see what uh, Lee's chatting about. Um, so that's all for today, folks. Stick around for that raid. Get yourself some of those Dream Pie channel points for sticking with the raid. And uh, we shall see you all again very soon. So stick around for the raid. If you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. But as we like to say around these parts, we're assuming they're safe. Bye, everybody. Bless me. Bless me. Bless me.